I wanted to make this video today to talk about change. You know, we've had a lot of change in my life recently. You know, the channel has changed over the last few months. I quit my job, I moved into a new apartment. Um, there's been a whole lot going on, so I thought this would be the most appropriate time to, uh, to cover the topic of change, why we try and fight it, and what we can do to follow through with the changes that we want to make in our lives. The flowers you gave me are rotting and still I refuse to throw them away. As humans, we are designed to follow the path of least resistance. And I think that's why a lot of us struggle with the changes that we try and make in our lives. But what do we do with that information? If we know, you know our brains and our bodies are designed to fight this change, then how do we improve things? How do we change our situations, our lives for the better when, um, when our bodies don't want us to? Some of the bulbs never open quite fully. They might, so I'm waiting instead. In my experience, it's really just been time and practice with myself. Um, you know, over the years, every change that I've made that was really uncomfortable and difficult to follow through has all led to the best things in my life. Uh, you know, I, I used to live in the, the suburbs of Michigan. I used to be 300 pounds. I used to work all day at a job I hated. Um, it's been an exhausting few years, but all of those things are different and better now because I decided to take that leap and to make that change for a positive impact in my life. You know, I wouldn't say it's gotten easier over time, but something I've noticed with myself, you know, after implementing these changes and things over the last few years to improve my life, you know, I see the rewards that happen when you put in that work and you put in that time and you follow through on whatever goal you're working towards. So that really helps significantly. It's like a snowball effect. You know, the more that you do, you see the changes and the results. So it makes you want to grow more and change more and improve more. And it's worth the effort and it's worth the work because you know how great that end result can be. But if you keep working at it and you keep trying to make the path that you want to be on, that easiest path to follow, it gets easier over time and it gets better over time and you get all of those good results from the hard work. The more that you put into it, the more that you're going to get out of it. I want to make this clear because I'm sure a lot of you that even if you've been around the channel for a few years don't realize, you know, this mentality and, and the way I am with working hard and achieving goals and all this great stuff it's not something that comes natural to me. Um, it took a lot of years to get to where I'm at now. So if, if you feel like, you know, that's just not me, um, it could be if you want it to. But you have to be willing to put in the work for it as well. Growing up, I was always someone that took the easiest path. I never did very many things to challenge myself. Um, I worked just hard enough to get by and I focused on the things I knew I was good at. And, and that's how I lived, you know, through school, through my jobs and all of that stuff. Um, but when I lost the weight, it kind of awoken something in me and it still doesn't really feel real to me now. You know, I live in one of the coolest parts of the country, in my opinion. You know, I get to work for myself on my own terms. Uh, you know, I have a beautiful, amazing wife. It's, uh, yeah, it's just difficult to really understand until you start getting it. So I'm sure I'm doing an awful job of explaining this, but hopefully a few of these words will resonate with everybody. But I, I just wanted to make this to um, remind everyone to take that chance and put in the work and fight that desire to stay the same and to be complacent and comfortable because it's easy. Because when you stop doing that, um, all of the best stuff will happen for you if you put in the work and the time and the effort. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on this. You know, what changes have you made and what effort did you put in to fight that complacency and that comfort and what did you get out of it? Uh, 
let's get that discussion going. But that's all for me this week, everybody. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.